Streets. Hey, Welcome to another hey, episode hey, hey. of Flag Home Flag Home Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on Twitter pated because I'm in the presence of the Vicky Burton. Twitter pated. <laughs> I feel at home because I have a mic in front of me, and that's what I do every day. So exactly, yeah, it's not what didn't I didn't take every me. Day. Out, you didn't take me out of my element. You just put me right back in it. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm super, super excited to get you here um, to chat about what we have coming up. Yeah. Um, specifically, I mean, I'm gonna definitely have to have you back on um, at the start of next year when we talk about shadows, because Vicky yeah. Burton is the founder um, of Shadows Foundation a local Northern Arizona foundation that does amazing things. If you had to say, and actually I think last couple of times we've spoken, I've introduced shadows. I like, I introduced shadows. Uh-huh. But if you were to introduce shadows, what's the introduction to st- shadows? Um, I would say that we provide financial assistance and services to individuals during a really great time of need. And I think the best part about shadows and what we do is that we're not a typical organization that'll fund you one time or help you with your utility bills and say one and done, we'll step in for three months or more. So, and, and you and I both know it takes it takes time when you're going through a sickness like cancer or something like that. You just don't get over that right away. So yeah, exactly, it's exactly. Really, it's really important to have someone there to help you during a time that you don't want to focus on how you're going to pay your utilities or food. You want to be able to focus on getting better, so... Absolutely. And that's the thing that I, I prize our foundation on doing. I think that we're, we're unique in that aspect of things. Absolutely. I love it. Northern Arizona um, founded, and Northern Arizona is who yeah. primarily a big benefit, who benefits. Probably. Yeah. yeah. And, and the best thing is we've been able to expand because, as you know, um, disease runs in many different ways. So we've been able to expand our programs to include heart screenings for all of our Northern Arizona first responders, which is really important. Because they're there to take care of us, and we need them. Yeah, and that's where it then, because when I came in with the initial question on what is shadows, because when you and I sit and talk, uh-huh. it's like shadows is this, shadows is this. It's, it's a laundry list of where shadows has worked to just bridge gaps. It, we community. do. We, we do, and I, I think that when you just said that, you know, the, the laundry list and the connection, the connection is I took one thing, which was disease and illness, and connected it in so many different ways that we could help people in different areas. Yeah. So we are a bridge. We exactly. are a connection in all different ways with disease and making sure that it's taken care of in all different aspects. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Which then leads into our big event coming up yes. on December 3rd. So excited. Our third annual Candy Cane Lane. And and it's the living, it's kind of like, to me, a little bit of like, a little bit of the living embodiment of shadows in the sense yeah. of like, there's community, there's yes. a lot of different causes going on. And, and so, yeah, so... You know, you and I yes. sat down together in 2020. Yeah. Said, "Okay, we got to bring we got to bring the holiday cheer." There's still people in need, yep. but we have this How do social we do it? distancing and everything going on. So mm-hmm. I, I connected with you. You connected yeah. with Subaru. Yeah, and this is the funny thing is that it's people go, "Where did you come up with Candy Cane Lane?" And I go, "Well, I grew up in California, and there was a street called Candy Cane Lane, and I remember as a child, I lived for every Christmas." for my parents to load us up in the station wagon with our hot chocolate and, and our cookies and go drive Candy Cane Lane and see all the houses that were decorated and, and lit up at night. So that's where, when you and I talked about it, I thought, we need to do a Candy Cane Lane. We need to do the flip reverse of a parade so our, all of our you know, spectators can drive through and all of our floats are stationary. And, and back, you know, well, back then, 2020 yeah, right? was like in the safety of your own cars. Right. But now it's in like... The warmth, warmth of your own, of your absolutely. Own <laughs> and see, we knew what we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> we thought we were addressing because there was an issue at that point, and there was COVID, and and we had to do the social distancing. But really, what we were thinking of is in the future, so people didn't have to get out of their car where it's warm, and they could drive through and have fun. Exactly. So we were thinking ahead. Yeah. So tell. So as you and I have worked to organize this event, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's. Grown and grown. I think what, how many, do you know the count right now? How so many over a thousand did? cars last year. A thousand cars it was each over, year. Each year. So the, before, I think the, not the first year we had about 900 last year was over a thousand. Gotcha. So we are, we are growing and we have so many different things that incorporate in Candy Cane Lane, as you know, because you are the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> you are it. Yeah. And, and we've incorporated ways, like you said, to include other um, avenues that we could support and help. 
like our Northern Arizona Law Enforcement Toy Drive and having them a part of Candy Cane Lane so our spectators can drive through and drop off toys to so that we have toys for the Northern Arizona Law Enforcement Toy Drive is really cool. And then including other nonprofits and, and things that we do for them. I think that's awesome. Yeah, so let's maybe quick rewind basics yeah. for people listening right now because there's so much going on. And, yeah. and, and to those of you, and I want to quickly mention for the, anyone who's been there in the past, uh, we've definitely, you've worked really, really well with the local PD and, yeah. and working traffic outs because the traffic flowed much better second year. It did. It did. And we know, you know, your first year's like that. It's <laughs> it was the first a, year. It's a test run, right? Yeah. And second year's better. And this year's like, oh, we got this down. Exactly. We, we got this. This is the third year. And, and I think we tra- we did with having Flagstaff PD is such a great partner and working with them on different aspects of programs that I do with them. Um, it's so wonderful to have all of them there and our law enforcement to help us guide and make sure that the traffic flow comes in. So we have two different entrances now. So you can either come down. Um, what's my, what's our road that we're on? Uh, oh my gosh. Why am I? I <laughs> marketplace. marketplace. You yes. can either come down marketplace from highway 89. So you can either come in that direction or you can come up marketplace and come down, come up from old route 66 or go through the back roads to come up. And both entrances come into uh, Nissan, Flagstaff Nissan and merge into Flagstaff Subaru into the wonderful mystical land of candy cane. Lane. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, and that, let's again do the basics. So the first steps, or let's go through the first steps for what people should do and expect. So yes. step number one, go online. Go online. Shoutoutsfoundation.org. Correct. Purchase a Candy Cane Lane ticket. Correct. You car- purchase your car pass. Now your car pass is $15, and it doesn't matter how many people are in your car. And you prefer to make sure that you all have seat belts on. But I'm going to say I've had people come through in trucks, and they've got all the kids in the back, and, and they just do that driving through, and then they'll go and... And load. And load yep. across the road. And, and be safe them, yeah. there. Mm-hmm. And so, yep, so getting your tickets. Yep. And then, uh, and, and everyone that drives through gets a, a free goodie bag. Well, this is the last. This is the fun part. We do a thousand goodie bags. So, yeah. all the first thousand cars, we give goodie bags out to the children in the cars. Uh, this year, we're going to have cannolis, 1,000 cannolis. Motion's making them. Yeah, over at Grimaldi's. At Grim, from Grimaldi's, yeah. So he's making 1,000 cannolis. I can't wait to see this. And he said he's never done this before. He's <laughs> never attempted this, so this is going to be all new for him, too. I love it. So Grimaldi's is really, I mean, I can't wait to see this. But yeah. you want to be the first few cars or the first 500 cars for sure in line because yeah. you want to get those. So you get your ticket. You show yeah. up. It's from hours Five five thirty. You can get in line early. I would suggest you get there at 5 and get in line. At Smart. The, mm-hmm, and that way you're in line. And it, Because the streets are, like I said, we have our officers out there on the road, and, and it's safe. So, And yeah. we have it open to both ways for traffic, so if people are coming through, they can. Definitely. And then we have a variety of different vendor displays, primarily put on yeah. by local businesses and their they are. own in, uh, it, oh, what am I trying to say? Original design. It is. It is. And that's the fun part is that businesses put together their exhibit. Yeah. And what we tell them, right, is we tell them, bring it on. Bling it. Because yeah. this is Candy Cane Lane. This is nighttime, so it's got to light up. And we've had some really cool exhibits. And what's really cool is that now we have even more. So we had another five or six applications so far this year. So we want more. Yeah. And we just want to have back-to-back exhibits and have fun and let everybody drive through and see what our community is capable of. Exactly, along with professional displays that we bring in just to knock the socks off. We do, we do. And then as as you and I both know, you know, we have a really cool (laughs) drive-through. Yep, service bay turns into like the magic tunnel. Yes, it is the magic tunnel, and that light show with the music is absolutely incredible. I mean, if I could, I'd drive through three or four times just to go (laughs) through that part, because that's pretty cool. Jason, he does a great job. Absolutely. And, and then the kids, is there, or the kids and parents, as they're going through, like you, we talked about, there's a couple of different opportunities of, uh, you know, it's, it's that magical g- circle of giving, It right? is the circle to, of you're, giving you're, you're, that we They're getting about. this amazing display mm-hmm. and this amazing holiday spirit, yep. but there's some opportunities here. So bringing toys, you said yes. to drop off? Yep, we're going to have, uh, we're gonna have our officers there taking toys for the Northern Arizona Law Enforcement Toy Drive. So you'll keep your toys with you. You drop them off at the front. They'll be there to take them. I'm um, in the very front. So you'll drop your toys off in the very front. You get your goodie bags. Hopefully you get your cannoli. Yeah. <laughs> Cannolis. <laughs> yep. And then you head through. And something really cool this year is Purina is going to be there. And guess what they're doing? No. They're giving goodie bags to the four-legged fur babies. Oh, yeah. I'll so bring, bring your, fur your four-legged fur baby with you because they get goodie bags too. I love it. I know. I love it. And then 
There was, there's a keep the change. Uh huh. Then hold strong, which is an awesome organization in Flagstaff that deals with PTSD with our officers. He does an amazing job. Uh, we have them come and we have drop the change, which is getting, we have them down by you, by the North yes, Pole. Over by the North so Pole. right before yep. you get to North Pole, just ha- bring change with you and just drop it off to them. Yep. Yeah. And then kids can drop off letters to mm-hmm. Santa. Letters to Santa. And uh, let's see, did we cover everything? I think we covered everything. I think we got it all. <laughs> now it's up to everyone to get their tickets and come see what it's all about. Exactly. We don't want to give too much away. Yeah. No, yeah. it is amazing. Yeah. So I'm very, very excited for our third annual year. Me too. Um, it's super dialed, super fun, and a way to kick off. It's the first Saturday. Yep. We just kick off that yep. holiday spirit in the sense of giving. Yep. And we you get a lot. You, get yeah, you a lot do. Of you do, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we hope to see everybody there. Awesome. Any final words on it, Vicki? No. Just thanks for doing all you do and supporting Shadows, Chris. Absolutely. Thanks, Vicki. Thank you. Right.